Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. William and I had been talking about going to Columbia to photograph the blue bearded helmet crest for a couple of months. But in November, we were in Columbia and William made a few phone calls, actually from the airport on our way home, and found out that it was possible that we might be able to do this. The thing is, when I thought about doing it, I thought it would be in October of 2020. Um, we were informed that if we really wanted to see the bird, our best chances would be to go in February. I'm <laughs> like, February? I mean, it's the end of November. Now, I'm in pretty good shape for my age, but the thought of climbing from 4,000 to 10,000 feet, which is like sea level to Denver in two days, was a little scary. So I knew that I had to get in shape. I came home and I started hiking. Um, we have hiking areas very close to where I live in Studio City. I started going up the hills and down the hills and up the hills again. There are streets very close by where I live that have some very, very steep inclines. And I started walking up and down and up and down those hills. But I knew that that wasn't going to be quite enough to get me in shape. So I joined the gym down the street and I started working out with Sahara as a private trainer there. This is Sahara, my private trainer, who I affectionately call Carmela DeVille. I'm 70 years old and I can do 45 minutes on this freaking machine. <laughs> there are 30 year olds who get on the one next to me that get off after five minutes. Since you've probably been hearing this one in the background of some of these videos, I figured I might as well bring them out here. My next dilemma was figuring out how to pack for an 18-day trip involving both warmer weather and camping in the freezing cold. Getting ready to pack for an 18-day trip to Peru and Colombia. And it's the rainy season in Peru, so I have to get like wet clothes. It's freezing in Colombia where we're gonna go because we're climbing up a mountain to film a bird. Long underwear, packing. I, I mean, how many pairs of long underwear do you have to wear to keep warm when it's freezing and you're camping? And speaking about camping, I haven't been camping since I was 11 years old in the Girl Scouts. This is going to be nutty. I'm afraid I'm gonna get claustrophobic in one of those new mummy sleeping bags. Usually I sleep like this. So this is gonna be great. And you're gonna see it all on this channel. <laughs> so anyway, packing just drives me crazy because I never know what I'm gonna need. So you have to be prepared for everything. Then you're lugging like so much luggage to where you're going. But anyway, this is my packing dilemma. I've got down, I've got hard drives. And look at this, since it's gonna be dark, I've got my new headlamp. <laughs> I let's see. I didn't even know how this works. Ah! <laughs> okay, now I'm blind, but uh, <laughs> I've got headlamps. I've got. I don't even know if I have to take food. They have these little things that have electrolytes in them. So when I'm hiking 25 miles up the mountain, I guess you just pop these things in your mouth and there's, they have caffeine in them. I guess these are like mini, um, what are they called, uh, Red Bulls. So maybe that'll help. Well, the other thing that we had to do was acclimate to the altitude. Um, so instead of flying directly to Columbia, we 
went to Peru first because we figured we would spend some time at altitude there so by the time we got to Colombia, our lungs would be great and we wouldn't be affected by the altitude. Now we went to Peru because, oh, I wanted to visit the marvelous spatula tail again. So we flew to Wembo and uh, the Wembo Reserve is at 7,000 feet. So that's a good excuse to go back there and visit my favorite hummingbirds again. Uh, then from there, we went to Ollantaytambo. I had been there before, didn't get any new species, but got some beautiful pictures of the black-tailed train bearer. Uh, that is such a gorgeous bird. So I got to hang out there and film that little guy for a while. And then from there, we went to Urumbamba, which is at 9,500 feet. And we stayed there for a couple of days. You've already seen a video that we took at Urumbamba, the slow motion video that has the giant hummingbird and some other hummingbirds. If you haven't seen that video, click here. Now, after spending 10 days in Peru, we were acclimated to the altitude and we were ready to fly to northern Colombia. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because Sunday we will be publishing the first video of the quest for the blue bearded helmet crest hummingbird. You are not going to want to miss this.